All right, so on the F600, we're moving around the body, around the body, around the body. We're gonna stop here and work today on the rear fenders. What we're actually gonna do is section the fenders. We got them over to semi wheels and we had to raise them way up on the bed. And we want the front edge of the fender to be on the ground when the truck's aired out. So a lot of slicing and dicing is getting ready to happen here. We actually got a little chicken scratch lines on the fender just to show you what I'm getting ready to explain. What we're gonna do is cut a straight line down and cut a straight line across. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the back side. Straight line down and straight line across. And then we're gonna connect these two lines with a straight cut straight across there. And what that dish did was it's gonna cut and release this whole wheel well section. And I'm gonna let that drop to the ground. And then on these straight lines, when I cut that, and that drops down, the center is gonna drop down like this, and then I'll come back and tack weld that up with this sitting flat on the ground. Now that's gonna create a big open gap where these lines are, and we'll have to come back and form some metal and make these patches that fill in these sections. So what we're actually doing is just dropping the wheel well radius, bringing the fenders down longer to get over the big semi wheels. We blew the cab up, made the cab bigger than life, now we're gonna blow the bed and the fenders up to make them proportionate with the cab. Mark and I just finished up the rear fenders and we're jumping to the front. We're anxious to get this big old Cummings 24 valve into the front of this truck. Not sure how well it's gonna fit or if it fits at all. As you can see, we gotta cut a big hole in the firewall. We'll probably cut the firewall a couple different times trying to sneak up on it. We don't wanna cut too big of a hole. But once we have the hole cut and we get the motor in, then we'll start making a custom firewall that houses the motor. What we're gonna put in there is what we call a doghouse. The doghouse is a big recessed area in the firewall that the motor actually sets back into, almost like a van where you have a lot of motor underneath the dash of the truck. That's the way this Ford truck will now be. You're going to have a lot of motor in the inside of the car and a lot of motor under the hood. Once everything's set in place, we'll start building all these little panels that becomes the firewall. All these little pieces will then be welded together and it'll make a nice smooth looking clean firewall when we're done. Catching all the steps.
we're working on the bed and as you can see we're going to make all the corners of the bed rounded and smooth everything got a two inch radius from the top rail to the inside corners of the bed floor what we got to do is we got to hand make most of all of this stuff so also once we got all that done we're going to put a wooden bed floor insert in there like all the old trucks had but we don't just want straight wood planks we're going to have a curvy swoopy wood floor insert to match all the curves and swoops in the bed once again all handmade custom one off when we get this thing done they'll be the only one like it All right, we're back onto the rear fenders. We're gonna add a little detail character to them. We're gonna put the uh, exhaust dumping out the corners of each tailpipe. So I gotta cut a hole and it's gonna be a funky shaped hole because we're gonna put a funky shaped tailpipe tip coming out. It's got a big diesel motor and they usually run one tailpipe on one side, but we want everything to be balanced looking from the back. So we're actually gonna split the exhaust and run the tailpipes out to each side of the truck, but they're gonna come out through the actual fender. But we're going to make the fender not just a hole, we're actually going to put a big lip on there, almost like a body line, make it look like it was stamped like that from the factory. working on the running boards here just like the bed we can't have nothing stock the beds all nice and curved with two inch radiuses same thing with the running board it's gonna have two inch radius on the top edge but yet they're not gonna be straight either they're gonna follow the radius of the cab so everything's a nice flowing smooth uh, running board but also with the added detail we're gonna do a wood insert that lays down in there flush just like on the bed floor but it also has no straight edges everything's nice and curved almost look like we recessed a surfboard in the running board. Back on the defenders, we gotta find a place for some tail lights. Gotta have lights on the back, somebody will run into us. We opted to go with some SSR tail lights off of a Chevy. They're kind of old school, but yet pretty modern, and they got a nice rounded, odd shape to them. It kind of flows with all the roundness that we're putting into the body. So this is a little side scoop. The tail lights hang out a little bit outside the fender. We did that on purpose, trying to give it a little more character. Everybody can just mount them right in the back of the fender. We hung them out the side a little bit, and then we're gonna put a little side scoop bulge. Make it just makes it look a little more fast forward and a little crazy. People wonder if them tail lights come in that fender, or did we make them fit there? Thanks for watching. If you want to see more build videos like this, help us out by liking, 
commenting, and subscribing to our channel. And it's a little thing to do, but don't forget to turn on those notifications. If you want to buy merch, go to store.classiccarstudio.com. See you next time.